Hello everyone, I am Amit Maru and today in this video we will discuss about uh, traversing a graph. There are different two techniques uh, to traverse the uh, graph. One is a breadth first search method and second one is a depth first search method. In this uh, today's video we will discuss about a breadth first search method in detail. It is a topic of uh, exploring graph chapter of uh, analysis and design of algorithm subject. So let us start our today's video on uh, breadth first search method. Traversing a graph. Traversing a graph is a technique uh, to traverse the graph or we can say to visit the different node of the graph. It is basically used to search something from the graph. In a graph uh, there are a number of uh, nodes and there are number of edges and there may be a number of cycles. So there must be some method to visit a different node of the graph to search a different node of the graph. So there are uh, different uh, methods uh, through that we can search something from the graph. The first method that is a breadth first search method. In that uh, we are using a Q data structure. So first of all you must understand what is Q is. In Q we use a first in first out operation that is FIFO operation. And the second method that is a depth first search method. And in this depth first search method we are using stack data structure. So again you must understand what is stack is or how we can perform some operation with the stack that is to insert something inside the stack that is a push operation and how we can delete something from the uh, stack that is pop operation. So when we use a queue at that time we are using two operation one is uh, insert something inside the queue that is nq operation and uh, dq operation to delete something from the queue. In a stack we are using two operation one is push to insert something inside the stack and uh, pop to uh, delete something from the stack. So in this uh, today's video we will discuss our first method that is a breadth first search method uh, in that we will use a queue uh, to search a different node to visit different node of the graph. So let us start our first method that is a breadth first search method. In a breadth first search method, uh, exactly the breadth first search is a traversing algorithm where you should start traversing from the any node. It means that initially you can choose any node as a source node and traverse the graph layer wise. Thus the exploring the neighbor node and the neighbor node is nothing but the node which is directly connected with the uh, source node. You must then move towards the next level neighbor nodes. So level by level you have to visit different node of the graph. As the name BFS suggests, you are required to traverse the graph breadth wise such as first move horizontally and visit all the nodes of the current layer then move to the next layer. So in this way we have to visit different node of the graph level by level. Again you must uh, note that we are using Q data structure uh, to visit different node of the graph in breadth first search method. So let us understand breadth first search method uh, with one example but uh, before that you must uh, know how we can solve how we can visit different node of the graph uh, by using breadth first search method in that certain steps are there that step we you need to note it down. So please note down uh, these all the steps and then we will discuss uh, one example by using different steps how we can uh, visit different node of the graph. Step number one, visit source node. It can be any node of the graph. It means that initially you can uh, start from any node and you can consider this node as a source node. Step number two, store source node in queue. So as we discussed, we are using queue data structure uh, in our BFS and the queue uses a first in first out operation right so store or we can say perform nq operation and store our source node inside the queue step number three perform dq operation with queue now we have to perform second operation that is dq operation in our step number two we have inserted our source node inside the queue in step number three you have to delete this source node from the queue by using dq operation. So dq basically used to delete something from the queue and uh, we are following first in first out operation in queue. 
then step number four print deleted node and explore them and store all neighbor node of it in queue now deleted node we have to consider and we have to print and we have to explore this deleted node it means that we have to visit neighbor node of that deleted node and we have to store this all the neighbor node inside the queue step number five repeat step number four and five until we visit all node of the graph so these will are the certain steps again i'm repeating first step is we have to consider any node as a source node of the graph it can be any node of the graph second step is we have to use a queue in that first operation that you need to perform that is store our source node inside the queue then perform dq operation with the queue so source node will be deleted because we are performing first in first out operation with the queue so your source node will be deleted initially then print this deleted node and explore it when we explore explore is nothing but we have to visit all the uh, neighbor node of uh, this deleted node and store this all the neighbor node which is directly connected with this node and we have to store inside the queue we have to perform this step number four and five until we visit all node of the graph until our queue is empty let's take one example suppose we have one graph in the graph there are number of nodes and number of edges are there we want to visit this all the node by using a breadth first search method so as you know that in breadth first search uh, uh, algorithm we are using queue data structure so this is our empty queue initially and here we have to print output so let us solve this uh, example let us visit all the node of this graph by using a breadth first search method so as we discuss a uh, number of steps are there uh, in our breadth first search algorithm so let us follow this all the steps uh, to visit all the node of this graph step number one as we discuss we have to consider any node as a source node so initially we have a number of node you can start uh, with any node so you can consider a as a source node or starting node you can consider b as a starting node g as a starting node h as a starting node so you can consider any node as a source node or starting node initially so suppose uh, we are considering a as a starting node or source node now the step number two uh, we have to store this uh, source node or we can say starting node inside the queue it means that we have to perform nq operation and we have to store a inside the queue so we have stored a inside the queue now step number three says that we have to perform dq operation with the queue when we perform dq operation from the queue at that time first element will be deleted but here only one element is there inside the queue so a will be deleted so perform dq operation with the queue then a will be deleted and this a we have to print as a output now step number four says that we have to explore a and we have to visit all the neighbor node of a so we have to identify all the neighbor node this is the neighbor node that is b c is a neighbor node and d is a neighbor node of a we have to store all the neighbor node of a that is b c and d inside the queue so perform nq operation and store b c and d inside the queue then uh, we will have a different three node inside the queue that is b c and d right we we have already deleted a from the queue so that we have now three element that is b c and d inside the queue now perform again dq operation so when you perform dq operation from the queue at that time b will be deleted because it is a first in first out uh, pattern so first element uh, that is a b will be deleted from the queue and we have to print this b as a output so b will be printed here and we have to explore b so when we explore b at that time we have a two uh, different uh, neighbor that is our e is a neighbor of b and c is also a neighbor of b but c already visited so we are not visiting same node again so we have only one option that is e so we have to uh, store e inside the queue then we have a uh, three again uh, different uh, nodes inside the queue that is c d and e b already deleted 
Now again we have to perform DQ operation with our Q. Then C will be deleted and will be printed as a output. Again we have to explore C. Then C has a two neighbor node. One is a B and second one is F. But B already visited so we are not visiting B again. So we have only one option that is F. So store F inside the Q. So there are uh, three different elements inside the Q. That is a D, E and F. Again perform DQ operation with our Q so that uh, D will be uh, deleted and will be print as a output. So D will be printed as a output. Add. Uh, we have to explore D. So we have to identify all the neighbor node of D. So D has a two neighbor node. G and H both are unvisited. So we have to visit both the node G and H and we have to store inside the Q. So G and H will be inserted and D will be deleted from the Q. Then we have our different four uh, nodes inside our Q that is E, F, G and H. Now perform again DQ operation with our Q. So E will be deleted and will be printed as output. Now explore E and identify all the neighbor node of uh, E. So when we check, uh, when we explore E at that time, E has a two neighbor node. One is B and second one is F. But this both are already visited. So we cannot insert anything inside the Q. Then the Q has uh, only three element that is F, G and H. E already deleted. Now uh, perform DQ operation with our Q, then F will be deleted and F will be printed as a output. Now explore F, when we explore F at that time F has a two uh, neighbor node, one is C and second one is E. C and E both already visited, so we cannot insert anything inside the Q. Then Q will have different two nodes that is G and H, F already deleted. Now perform DQ operation with our Q, then G will be deleted and will be printed as a output. Now explore G, then G has a two neighbor node, one is D and second one is H, both already visited. So we cannot visit again and we cannot store inside the Q. So Q has only one element that is H. Then again perform DQ operation with our Q, then H will be deleted and will be printed as output. Then Q will be empty. And just check all the node already visited, so we have to stop and our queue is empty. This is the output. We have visited our uh, tree, uh, our uh, graph, like uh, first we have visited A, then after B, C, D, E, F, G and H. In this graph, this is the, uh, this red highlighted line and the node indicates one tree and this tree is known as BFS tree. We have to remove these uh, remaining edges like uh, A is between B and C, A is between E and F, A is between G and H, then we can have one tree and this tree is known as BFS tree because a cyclic graph is known as tree so th there is no any cycle in this uh, uh, tree so that it is known as tree. Now uh, we have visited uh, first A then after B then after C then after D then after E then after F then G and then H. This pattern is known as BFS search. Using this BFS we can visit all the node of the graph. We can search any node from the graph. This is all about BFS algorithm. Now let us understand the pseudocode of uh, BFS. As we already discussed different steps, this all the steps we have written inside the pseudocode. So we have to call one function that is a BFS and we have to pass G as a argument. Now we have to consider any node as a source node. So we have considered for example S as a source node. Now the first step is we have to uh, prepare one Q. So for example Q is one Q in that we will store different nodes of the graph. Perform NQ operation with source node. So initially you can consider any node as a source node and store inside our queue. Perform NQ operation and store source node inside the queue. Then visit this node. So mark S as a visited. Then we have to explore this uh, node. Q is not empty until this loop. This loop will be executed until Q is not empty. Inside this loop 
we have to perform first operation that is DQ operation. When we perform DQ operation with the queue, then initially only one node is available inside the queue that is source node. So source node will be deleted from the queue and will be stored inside the P inside the V. This source node we have to print as a output. Inside this while loop, another for loop is there for all neighbor node W of V in graph G. It means that we have to explore this deleted node. If W is not visited and if it is a neighbor node of our deleted node, then we have to perform NQ operation and we have to store uh, this neighbor node inside the queue and mark W as a visited. Then identify second neighbor node, then third neighbor node until uh, we get all the neighbor node of that source node. And we have to perform NQ operation, we have to store inside the queue. This operation will be continued until queue is empty. Once the queue is empty, then we have to stop and we have to check whether all the node of the graph visited or not. Then we have to stop. This process is known as breathe first search algorithm. In that, we search our element starting from any node and level by level, we have to visit different node of the graph. So this is all about a breathe first search algorithm. So thank you. Thank you very much for uh, watching this video. Thank you again.